Pam Andringa, physical therapist at CU Sports Medicine and Performance. And I'm here to show you a good little five minute workout for your core to help keep your back sound while everybody's home. So start out on your mat and we're gonna lay down on your back. You're gonna contract those core muscles without tilting your hips. And you're gonna hold those core muscles strong. If you wanna put a towel washcloth behind your back so that you can Keep your back in that neutral posture, but feel that there's some contact there. You're welcome to do that. And then we're going to start with some marching. Okay, we're going to do 30 marches right here. I like to contract and relax in between. Contract, march, and then march, and then relax. The next level of that would be march, slide it out, and bring it up, and set it down. Slide it up, bring it out, bring it up, and set it down. Relax and recontract. You can also just do a hold right here. Just don't let that core move. Hold it 30 seconds. And do three of those. Set one leg down at a time so that you don't lose control of your back. Okay, 30 reps of those marches. Three times 30 second holds. And then move on to your hands and knees. We're gonna do a little cow and camel where we're gonna sag our back down and then we're gonna push our backs up and round them up. Sag them and then round them up. This should be smooth and controlled. And if you can only go to here with comfort without going into pain, just go that far. It'll get bigger as you go, all right? From here, we're gonna do 10 of those just to nice, smooth and slow. From here, bend the elbows a little bit, get your body in neutral, and you're gonna try to just pick up an arm. Hold that 10 seconds. Try not to let your shoulder lift or drop or your body twist. And then the next arm, 10 second hold. You'll feel those abs working nice and strong. After you do 10 seconds on that limb, we're gonna slide a leg out. We're gonna try not to let our body shift, lift, or drop. We're just gonna slide it out and keep it neutral. You can slide it just far enough where you don't have to arch in your back. Your back position should stay the same. And then you're gonna repeat onto the other leg. Three rounds, 10 seconds each. And then bring it back in. If you feel that's too easy, you're welcome to bring the leg out and shift an arm up and hold that. 20 to 30 second hold, three times on each side and then bring that in. From here, we can walk right out, drop our hips down, keep our spine nice and neutral, our head neutral, our shoulder blades tucked back, and hold that 20 seconds. Okay, I'll let you keep holding that 20 seconds and pause. From there, you're gonna flip onto your side, elbow below your shoulder, feet straight behind you, Knees bent about 90 degrees. You're gonna lift your hip up and hold that position with your shoulder blades tucked back, your hips straight up to the ceiling. Your top leg is just pretty much relaxed. If you need a bigger challenge, you can do some clams, making sure that you're not letting your hips move, or you can do some small leg lifts, keeping your hips steady. 10 on each of those. And then, we're gonna turn around and do a side plank on the other side. 20 second hold or 10 clams or 10 leg lifts. You can do the first set holding, the second set with clams and the third set with leg lifts. Three rounds of planks each for about a 20 second total. And you're good to go with your morning workout. Good luck everybody, keep moving.